backup configuration files. In this activity, you will restore a configuration from a backup and then perform a new backup. Due to an equipment failure, a new router has been put in place. Fortunately, backup configuration files have been saved to a trivial file transfer protocol server, the FTP server. Establish connectivity to the TFTP server. Because this is a new router, the initial configuration will be performed using a console connection to the router. Click PCA, the desktop tab. Okay, PCA, click desktop tab. Terminal, access RTA command line. Terminal. Okay, using this console cable, you will access console on RTA router. Okay, and press return, enter. Configure and activate gigabit 00 interface. The IP address should match the default gateway for the TFTP server. Okay, review the TFTP server. Desktop, IP configuration or command prompt and IP config and should match the default gateway of this server 172.16.1.1 and use the same subnet mask this is very very important subnet mask 24 you go to PCA and on router remember gigabit 00, zero. enable configure terminal interface gigabit 00, zero. IP address 172.16.1.1 subnet mask 24 enter and enable this interface no shutdown enter now you can see the green indicator on the server side test connectivity to TFTP server Okay, TFTP server IP address is 172.16.1.2. Go to PCA and you are on router and to privilege exit mode and ping the server. Ping 172.16.1.2. Success. Transfer the configuration file from the TFTP server. From privilege exit mode, Okay, this privilege exit mode. Copy TFTP to running config. Okay, copy from TFTP server is the source, and running config will be the destination, the router. Okay, copy TFTP to running dash config. Enter. And the address of the server was 162.16.1.2. 162.16.1.2. And the source file rta-conf. rta-conf g. Okay, case sensitive. And the, and the destination file by default running config. Okay, use the default enter. The router should return the following. Okay, very good. Copy it. Okay. 785 bytes. Very good. And issue the command to display the current configuration. So running dash config. Enter. And now you can see the host name. The Interface gigabit 00, gigabit 01, it is shut down. Gigabit 01 is shut down. Gigabit 00, uh, passwords on BTY lines, password on console, banner. Okay. Uh, what changes were made? Okay. Uh, previously, the 
router host name is by default router and when you copy the configuration file from tftp server to running config now the, the host name is rta the host name is rta and in configurations like enable secret IP domain lookup interfaces configurations banner and line console and BTY lines issue the appropriate show command to display the interface status okay show IP inter interface brief Are all interfaces active? Okay, gigabit um, 00 status up, protocol, protocol up, gigabit 01 status administratively down, protocol down. Okay, the answer is uh, gigabit 01 is shut down. Correct any issues related to interface problems and test connectivity between PCA and the TFTP server. Okay, first uh, enable gigabit 01. Okay, your terminal interface gigabit 01. Enter no shutdown. Now you can see the green indicator here. And there's connectivity between PCA and TFTP server. Okay, this is PCA. Close the terminal. Go to command prompt and ping the TFTP server 172.16.1.2. Success. Backup configuration in iOS to TFTP server. Change the host name of RTA to RTA-1. Okay, uh, you are on PCA. Uh, close this, open terminal. Okay, and continue configuring RTA, exit. And on global configuration mode, change the host name, host name RTA. RTA dash one enter. Now the host name is RTA dash one. Save the configuration to MVRAM. Okay, and to um, privilege exit mode. And copy from running config to startup config. Enter. Enter. Okay, running config is the configuration on RAM. And startup config is the MVRAM. Now, copy the configuration to TFTP server using the copy command. Okay, copy from running configuration on RAM is the source. Uh, the destination is TFTP server. Okay, copy running config to TFTP column. Okay, enter address of the remote host, the server 172.16.1.2, enter. And destination file rta-1-conf-g. Okay, use the default, press enter, use that uh, file name, enter. Okay, 851 bytes copied, very good. Issue the command to display the files in flash. So flash column enter. Okay, here this is the iOS image. The image of this uh, router RTA. Backup the iOS in flash to the TFTP server using the following command. Copy from flash on this router is the source and destination the tftp server copy from flash column source the destination tftp server column enter source file name is this use this 
Okay, C nineteen zero zero universal K nine M Z dot SPA K sensitive fifteen one dash four dot M four dot B. Okay, this name uh, press enter. Address or name of remote host, the server IP address 172.16.12. Destination file name, use the same name as the destination enter. Okay, about uh, 33 megabytes copied. What special character repeatedly displays indicating that the iOS file is being copied to the TFTP server successfully? Okay, this character. Okay, the exclamation point. Open TFTP server and click the services tab, select TFTP and scroll through the list of iOS files. Go to TFTP server, close command prompt, Open services tab, TFTP, and now you can see the RTA one conf g this file, and also the the image of the router. The image was C nineteen zero zero universal K nine MC SPA fifteen one four and four bin and is this C nineteen zero zero universal K nine MC SPA fifteen one dash four and four bin very good has the iOS file C nineteen zero zero universal K nine MZ SPA 15.1-4 and 4 being copied to the TFTP server? Yes. Okay, and it's listed in the TFTP server. Completion 100%. Thank you very much.